Today, hundreds of boats converged off Bayard Point on the St. John's River. Sky 4 flying over as Clay County's annual skip day party continues. Deputies and Florida Fish and Wildlife officers are also there to make sure people are having fun safely. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris was out on patrol with the Clay County Sheriff's Office and joins us now. So Janice, this, this boating day, I mean, it attracts a lot of people. <laughs> Hundreds and hundreds of people, Targ. This has been a very fun, eventful, hot day and a breezy day, but it's been a good one. And so law enforcement said they'll be focused on making sure while all those people are out on the river behind me having a good old time that they're not accidentally putting themselves in danger. Blue skies, cumulus clouds and a wide open St. John's River. Hundreds of boaters are meeting up to enjoy it. Several hundred people out there already. Now we're in route. Coming up. Bill Mayer is a Marine deputy for Clay County Sheriff's Office. He has a job many envy, but there is a serious side too. After a quick 10 minute ride, we arrive at Boat Skip Day, located near Bayard Management Wildlife. Skip day! Woo! Skip day! Skip day! Y'all able to run that 28 on that thing? There's the risk of people operating their boats while drunk. Mayor is among dozens of agencies making sure everyone is safe. Boat after boat, law enforcement keeps a watchful eye. What are some of the things you're going to be looking for, red flags to keep people safe? So what I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for people that are operating boats in and out of the area, making sure they're still going slow. We've got a lot of boats that are anchored. We've got a lot of people that are in the water swimming around. Very close to one another. I said go around that way. Don't hit my boat. Law enforcement working together. This is a tradition and it's pretty much a perfect day to be out here. Some people are going to stay into the night. Every year it attracts more and more people. How many years have y'all been coming out doing Five, ten. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not, just not kidding. It's ten. <laughs> As the music blasts above the river, more boats arrive. It's going to be a fun and long night on the St. Johns River while law enforcement works hard to keep everyone safe. And clearly you can see that people are having a lot of fun. We just saw some more people pulling up with their boat in the last two hours so they can go into the St. John's River and participate in the boat skip day. But we want you to be aware that some of the areas where you would normally have a boat ramp to go to, they're full, they're, they're full to capacity. That would include Knight's boat ramp, Main Street boat ramp, Old Ferry Boat Ramp, Governor's Creek Boat Ramp, and also Lakeshore Boat Ramp 6, Doctors Lake Marina. That's at last check, which was just a couple of hours ago. And we anticipate the celebration for Boat Skip Day will continue into the night and maybe into the morning. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.